So this video is a little message to my uh, one of my best friends in the world, and you know we all go through times, and I know I've been through times where it's like, who am I? And so this is an assignment about like what's important to me, and how do I make myself important? How do I know what I want? Do the things I want? Create the things I want? And take a look at an inventory of like our perspectives and priorities and our beliefs and what we're doing and why we're doing it and, and all the stuff we're caught up in that's just given to us through our whole life that we think we have to own it and we have to hold on to it and it's just not true. So I love you Kim, you are one of my favorite people in the whole world but I'm not supposed to say favorite because you don't like that so I'm not going to say that but you are somebody that I love very dearly. So the assignment starts with this. All of the people in your life, shut them off. So all the people that are that are drama, that want something from you, that have their stuff going on, like make it your day. After you make it your day, you're gonna do this. You're gonna look at what do you really want. Take away all attachments, take away all limits, take away all the hows, just what do I want? Not should, have to, supposed to, what do I want? And then what are my attachments? What do I think my obligations are? So after what do I want, then what are all the things I think I have to do? What are the things I do in a day? And then why do I do them? What do I get out of them? Why do I think I need to? What do I believe about myself? What do I believe about the world? Looking at the people around us, what do they believe? Where are they at? And does it really fit? Because when we're in that, it's like we cannot see the forest from the trees and the people that are around us are just it's it's an environment reverberating off of us so then you've got to look at like if anything was possible like what do I believe about myself what do I believe about the world what do I think I have to do what are my limits and what do I really want if there was nothing limited on it and what do you really want not like oh I want to do this and I want to be rich and because those things enjoying is great but why do you want that and when it comes to love do you have the room for the love in your life do you have the room for the abundance and the exploration the adventure that you want so what I want you to do today is I want you to take a look at what's important to you and what do you want and and how can it be yours and why do you think it can't be and why do you think you have to get it this way and what, what are all the things that you do in your life? Do you really want to be doing them on a day-to-day -day basis? Because if you don't, there's always something else we can be doing and there's ways and there's solutions and it's just really getting down to what do I want? And what are these obligations and attachments I have to who I'm supposed to be? Or what do I think is going to happen? Or how do I think people are going to react? And where am I carrying the weight of people that it's not my job to carry the weight of? And so once we get to what we want, then we can begin to communicate more responsibly and be effective with those around us. But until we're loving us, giving ourselves what we want, appreciating ourselves, looking in and giving ourselves the understanding, look in the mirror and say, hey, you're beautiful. I love you. Hey, I understand you. Hey, I want to give you the time today to get to know how you're feeling. What are you afraid of? Because I know you're great and I know you can do it. And say that to yourself. Look in the mirror and say, hey, I want to get to know you. I really like you. Because all this world, we're wanting to be understood and we're frustrated, but we don't understand ourselves. See, when we understand ourselves, we don't need it from someone else. It's when we feel that insecurity and we're afraid to look and it's scary. And I know that in there is... I know what my dream is and I want it and I can have it and I can have it now. And there's not a bunch of rules, there's not a bunch of limits, none of that stuff exists. It is your dream, your life, your gift. We all have something beautiful to share with the world when we understand what it is and it's ready to be shared right now. And there's, I know you, you have all of this creativity and brilliance and all of these gifts inside to give people and then we get caught up in the stories. So for a day, no stories, no people. What do I want? No obligations, no attachments, possibility only. Inventory your beliefs, inventory how you're spending your time, and take a look at what you really want. Because what you want to do is be here with us, hanging out. Um, we just crossed over the harbor in Singapore to this island where the Hard Rock Casino is, so you're going to get some photos of that later, and nothing but love. So this is for you, I love you, and uh, I want you to win, and I want you here with us. Cable car station, there's this lovely table of shiny goods. There's a rooster and peacock next to each other. So we made the video on the way here, and we just saw this Sounds of Light show that was all about singing your song that's inside and living your purpose because it will wake up the whole world. I think it's time for you to come and be in Thailand very, very soon and do your exercises today on no talking to anybody that you want. No objections, no false beliefs, and no attachments to the patients.